Okay, so seeing as the spooky month is already here, I decided that I better get serious about my Halloween adaptation. Now, I'd been on the lookout for an LNWR Clanton for a while to make Afton to do the Wandering Coach adaptation, but I couldn't find any of them anywhere, so I had to opt for another choice, and that was to use uh, Spare Bachman Henry all right, Afton. Would you mind moving up? Alright, stop right there. Alright, so, yeah, so, I went with, uh, Spare Bachman Henry, that I had, actually, this guy used to be my big city engine, but, fret no more, I mean, I've actually found a mainline Patriot on eBay that I'm going to order, so I'm going to remake the big city, yeah, I mean, I'm going to redo the big city engine, so, So, we'll start with the tender. I decided to give Afton a Fowler tender, even though he's never... Yeah, even though he's not shown with the Fowler tender ever in any of the adaptations. But yeah, I mean, he's on Sodor, so... Maybe Afton just decided to get a Fowler tender. Oh, yeah. And I've added a little crew inside. So, he can have a driver and a fireman. So, while in the disassembly process, I popped out the little top feed after I finished painting. And simply using glue and paper, I covered up the top feed hole. The first time when the paint dried, I thought, Nah, it's a little too dark, like, I'm aware that Afton's a darker red than some of the other red engines, but this was a little too dark. So then, the next day, I got started painting again. I added a, a lighter red on top of the darker red, and I'm a lot more pleased with this result. Now, the face, I made the same way that I made the other green engine's face with painted sticky tack. I sculpted the eyes using a screwdriver and, and a rounded, yeah, and the round end of a paintbrush and, um, yeah, and a little jackknife. The jackknife and the screw were used to get the exact angles, like the corners of the mouth or the eyes, or to sculpt the nose, and yeah, and then I painted the sticky tack, and once the yeah, and once the gray paint had dried, I painted in the in the the in the, in the white for the eyes of the the eyes and the mouth and then I added the pupils and the eyebrows now face ain't exactly as smooth as I envisioned it but I still think it looks pretty good and so does the rest of his face pack so yeah I'm uh, uh, I'm honestly pretty happy with how Afton turned out. One day, I might add the letters L and WR on his tender, but I might get them printed because I want it to look more official and I don't think a paintbrush could do that, but yeah, I am very happy with Afton and I think I did a pretty good job for someone who didn't have a Clanton. So, in my universe, I guess Afton is... Yeah, he's still an LNWR Clanton, but like an experimental one.
So that's why he looks slightly different.